Texas Math Mundo audience, are we in store for a treat today? Today we have the Up and Comers 2023 edition in the house. We have ourselves Edgar Lemus, a proud Edinburgh North Cougar. Also in the house, Rujarshi Ghosh, a proud Klein Oak Panther. Brennan Ashley from Hallsville, a proud Bobcat, and David Hovey from the Mercedes Science Academy, all in the house. So it's my pleasure to uh, introduce these up-and-comers. They've experienced a meteoric rise through the ranks, and we've stood up and took notice of their performance. Let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, did you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you smash that like button, and did you leave a comment below. I have plenty of wonderful things in store for this channel, and I truly appreciate your support. Up-and-comers, 2023, right ahead. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Texas Math Mundo audience, are we in store for a spectacular treat today? In the house, we have some up and comers. These young gentlemen has caught us, uh, caused us to stand up and take notice as me and Peter uh, scrutinize the results on a weekly basis, and these na names keep on popping up at the top. Isn't that so, Peter? Definitely. These, these kids are coming to play this year. They're new. They're new this year, but they're making waves. Absolutely. This is our Up and Comers 2023 show, and it's my pleasure to introduce these guys. Gentlemen, when I call your name, if you'll please state your name, your school, and you'll state um, an interest you have outside of UIL. So, Edgar. My name is Edgar Lemus. I go to Edinburgh North High School. Our mascot is the Cougars. And an interest, an interest I have outside of school is playing video games. Doing what? Playing video games. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Good stuff, good job. Rojarshi. Hi, my name is Rajarshi Ghosh. I go by Raj. I go to Klein Oak High School and I enjoy playing Minecraft and also playing the violin. Awesome, awesome. And what's the what's the mascot there? Uh Panthers. Panthers, all right. Brennan. Oh uh, hi, my name is Brennan Ashley. I go to Hallsville. The mascot is a bobcat. And outside of UIL, I like playing tennis. Awesome, awesome. And David. Um, hi, my name is David. I go to Science Academy in Mercedes. The school mascot is the Dragons. And outside of UIL, I like uh, listening to music. Awesome, awesome. Gentlemen, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you all here. You all have had a meteor meteoric rise through the ranks, man. So I'm so happy. And I can't wait to get some insight in you and, and, and introduce you to my audience. Awesome. So first question, how did you get into UIL? And how have you how have you risen so rapidly, Edgar? Well, um, everything started the summer of freshman year, twenty twenty one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I was coming from middle school to high school, and I was attending some TSI tutoring, and I went to a, an orientation, a freshman orientation, and. Gar, uh, Mr. Garza, Alberto Garza, my coach, was uh, talking there. And when I heard about, uh, and there I heard about number sense and stuff. And also, before that, uh, I saw in my, I checked my little classroom a few days ago, a few days before that, and I saw a UAL number sense class there. And uh, it was, I was starting to get interested in it. And during that orientation, after the orientation, uh, I went to talk to him, and everything started from there. Awesome, 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 awesome. How about you, Raj? Uh, I got into UIL because I did elementary and middle school TMSCA competitions. So it would be fitting to just continue. And I've risen by trying to consistently practice too. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Brennan? Um, well, I started in sixth grade. And back then, I wasn't really too excited about doing it. But I guess over time, it sort of just grew on me. And I think 
like whenever I started to improve a lot was freshman summer, which was like six months ago. And I just started to start practicing really seriously and get better. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Brennan, you're a ninth grader, right? Uh, yes, sir. And Raj, are you a ninth grader? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. And then, uh, David's 11th grader and Edgar's a 10th grader, just to make sure. All right. So David, how did you, uh, get into UIL and how, how, how do you explain your, your rise? Um, well, I think I got into UIL like sometime during eighth grade. All my friends are doing it and I hadn't heard of it before. So I just gave it a shot. Um, I didn't really care too much about it until like the 11th grade winter when I think I like lost pretty badly in math or something, or I didn't even place like top five. So then I just went to go practice with Peter and started uh, getting my speed up. And then uh, that helped uh, me score better, I guess. All right, all right. Hey, do you guys know each other? David, do you know any of these guys? I saw Edgar at a meet, at the last meet I went to, I think. How about Raj? Do you know any of these guys? Uh, just in the Discord, not really in an in-person meet. All no. right, so hey, now we know each other. We're networking. We're networking. Peter, uh, do you uh, see these guys on a weekly basis, David and uh, Edgar? I see David almost every day, and uh, Edgar, I'll see him every weekend. So uh, I talk to Brennan on the Discord often, and uh, I talk to Raj a couple times. So uh, they're they're good kids, all of them. They're 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 gonna do well. I just wish I, Raj said he he wasn't going to Timothy A State, so that's kind of a bummer. But the other three should be there. Really? No team is say stay, Raj. That's too bad. Ouch. And you know what? I'm friends with your principal, Thomas Hensley. So I got I to gotta talk to him about that. Yeah, give him a call. Raj should be there. He, yeah. He's one of the best freshmen in the state. He, he needs to be there. I go way back with uh, Thomas Hensley, the, the principal at uh, Klein Oak. We were teachers together 20 years ago. So I know him very well. All right. So I want to ask about each of your teams. How do your teams look? Or are you just going solo? And um, what is your role on your team? Edgar. Well, our team this year, uh, we were focusing mainly on number sense. Uh, look, it's looking pretty good. We have, um, there's three sophomores and one freshman. Me, David Rodriguez, a sophomore, Joseph Avenoja, a sophomore, and Raimundo Martinez, a freshman. And it's looking good. I think we have a, a good shot at going to regionals and probably going to state. And uh, what was the other question? Sorry. What's your role on the team? My role on the team, it, it's basically trying to score high. Um, uh, since I am, um, me and Joseph, we are like the best there in the team. And sometimes I try to take uh, like a leadership role in the team. Uh, I, I try to get more confident and trying to spread that confidence. Awesome. But I'm just a team member. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How about you, Rajarsh, Raj? Uh, so I struggle to go to team meetings, and I often, most of the time, I don't really go. So I don't really have much of a role on the team, but I actively try to get better. And for our team, I think we're focusing more on calculator this year. And... Uh, yeah, so we're actively trying to increase our scores and hopefully make it to regionals and maybe state. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Brennan? Um, I'd say right now we're focusing on all three events, numbers and math and calculator. Um, but I feel like we'll have the best shot at calculator, and I think we'll probably win state. But as for my role on the team... I don't really see myself as a team leader. I think that's given up to Luke Jenkins, which he's a really great guy, and I look up to him a lot. But And he knows a lot more than me. But, yeah. Well, keep in mind, you're only a freshman, right? So uh, as, as yeah. years progress, your role may change, too. Yeah, and I think it will, but a lot of these guys I've looked up to for a while, so it's really nice to be on a team with them. That's awesome. Hey, you're Region 2, and yeah. so is uh, Klein Oak. Are you all the same class? Are you all both, uh, or are they a different class? Do you know if you're 5A or 6A? I'm 5A. And Klein I'm Oak 6A. is 6A? Yeah. 
Okay, so you won't clash on the way to state. That's awesome. Okay, cool, cool. All right, how about you, David? Um, well, I feel like my team mostly is focusing on science. That's usually what we do the best at. We have a lot of good talent in like math and even some number sense and calculator kids. A lot of the ninth graders are showing real promise in the science competition, but we just don't, we don't practice often enough, to be honest, for those math and speed-based events. And I don't, I don't think I consider myself a real leader in the team. It's more like we're just all trying to work together as like a bunch of peers to score as high as we can, especially in those science events. I mean, it's not like I'm there teaching everyone everything. We're kind of like, like I'm not very good at biology. So I'll learn from some of the even freshmen, the seniors, I'll teach them some physics and chemistry. It's a lot, really a team based, not as much. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm a huge leader there. Okay. Wow. Hey, well, I will say I talked to Peter often and Peter's been quite impressed with you. What would you say, Peter? Oh, this kid is a sponge. All he needs to do is practice and he picks up everything real quick. Wow. Wow. All right, gentlemen, this is your chance to make a shout out. I want you to make out a shout out to any like coaches, teachers, parents, uh, uh, rivals, teammates, anybody that motivates you and has helped you along your journey. Edgar, shout outs. First of all, I want to shout out my coach, Mr. Alberto Garza. He's not only been a great coach, but a great person and, uh, and someone I look uh, forward to. Um, he has helped me a lot, not only in number sense, but in uh, school related stuff. And I also want to make a shout out to my parents who take care, take care of us. Um, it's me and my other two brothers. They take care of us uh, pretty well. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have the time of doing uh, UIL as much as I'm doing right now. And I also want to shout out my teammates again, Joseph Enoja, David Rodriguez, and Raimundo. And I think that's it. Great, great, great. Raj. So I want to give a shout out definitely to my parents because they've driven me to all my meets, supported me every step of the way. I'd also want to give a shout out to my coaches, Mr. Rice, Mr. Wall, and Mrs. Clark, because they've pushed me a lot. And I want to give a shout out to my teammates at Klein Oak, Jackson White and Siddharth Sonavati, because they've also helped me find this Texas Math Mundo community and they've also helped me push to get better. Awesome. Rice. I, know, I know Brad Rice a long time, man. So I know your coach for a long time. He's been at it for a long time. I had a question. Yeah. Uh, Raj, your brother graduated last year, didn't he? From uh, he graduated two years ago, yeah. Two years ago. Has he helped you? Oh, yeah. I sure shout oh, my gosh. Yeah, shout out to him. He's helped me a lot, too. Especially in number sense, like the in math, in science, and everything. Awesome, awesome. Brennan. Uh, well, first, I'd like to give out to my coach, Mr. Clay. He's been a really great mentor and a great coach. And also my teammates, um, Luke, Caleb, Zach, McKenzie. And also, I'd like to shout out my parents who really support me and are able to just give me the time to practice UIL and also help me get with some of the best coaches in, in the entire state. So that's really nice. Awesome. 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 David. Well, I'd like to shout out my uh, physics teacher and science coach, Mr. Gowska. I mean, he's probably the biggest reason I've improved in science. You know, he motivates me and stuff. I'd like to shout out Peter for allowing me to like practice with him. And also I'd like to shout out Daniel, Rick and Derek. Uh, da Daniel Ramirez, Ricardo Ochoa, and Derek Lee, they've all been a huge help in, like, improving in the math and calculating number sense. I'd like to shout out my parents for, like, driving me to all these events and being there to support me. You know, they've always done that. And I also like to shout out to my teammates, uh, Daniel Chen, Nikhil Dermachineni, and all the freshmen that have really been showing up this year in the science events. Um, both Daniel and Nikhil are really dedicated people, especially to, like, science and those events, and even outside of UIL. So I respect that a lot. So, Peter, these guys, were they on the map last year? Or is their rise been meteoric, like, just, just to come on the scene this year? Well, I'll tell you this. Brennan and Raj were on the map in the junior high. They were one of the best in the state. Uh, David, 
David actually had another David on his team, Phelps, who was a little stronger in math. So uh, when I saw Hovi this time around, I'm like, I thought it was Phelps. But I think Phelps went to UTRGV. And uh, I, I'm not really in tune with the science scene. I knew he was one of the better ones in the science of the Valley. Uh, as far as um, Edgar, Edgar was probably one of the strongest freshmen. It was between him and Joseph last year. So, but this year, all of them have improved immensely. Immensely. Like, Brandon has been breaking 300s in calculator. It's crazy. Like, he has a real shot to medal at state in 5A. Uh, Raj is one of the best number sensors in the state as well. Uh, Edgar as well in number sense. And David is pretty strong in math and, and science. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see these kids at regionals and some maybe make it to state. All right. All right. That's good. So now, hey, this is the part I like, the, the juicy details. I want rivalries. Who do you consider your major rivalry on the way to the state? And um, a district, region, or, or, or just uh, individual rivalries? Who do you think might be your biggest roadblock to get to state? Edgar. Well, to begin, locally, my ma main ri rivalries are uh, my teammate, Joseph Enoja, and also Derek Lee and Kim Hun Cho, who I've been trying to beat this year. I just need to beat Derek Lee at least once. I have, I have one more chance. Um, but, but Derek Lee, uh, and for district, I'm not pretty sure, but for regionals, uh, there's a guy named Sam Regalado. I think he's in a region. Uh, I don't know which. Uh, Westlake. Westlake? Oh, okay, because Westlake, it's a rival for regionals, along with Sam Regalado. And for Staples, of course, of course it's going to be Clemens and, and Dylan Patel, Justin Lai, and everyone else. Uh, I've heard that name, Sam Regalado, quite a bit. He's good. He's good. And I see Dylan be... and Justin very, uh, very often when I did local meets here. So we talk, they, they beat me at chess and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Go so, ahead, Peter. You know, Sam Regalado, he went through the Flower Bluff Middle School. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. He was there and then he moved to Austin his freshman year. And that's why he's at Westlake now. Yeah, the coach. The coach uh, mentioned that when I talked to him. Hmm. Yeah. Raj, rivalries. So I'm. I haven't really looked beyond regionals or districts. So, like, I've seen about two schools that have scored, like, really high in number sense and calculator. One of them is Tombow Memorial. There's at least two people that consistently beat me in the VCMs. And there's one person in my district that has also placed at state before in number sense. Wow. Hey, this might interest you, but on Tuesday, I'm scheduled to interview the Tombow Memorial team. Unless something crazy happened, I'm interviewing that. But they've impressed me too. So I saw them at the last meeting and I asked them if they do a team interview. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Brennan. Well, obviously there's Mount Pleasant. They've been on our tail in calculator and math most of the year. And they'll definitely be a roadblock for getting to state this year. But for individuals, definitely I'd say Amon Sardina. He's been really strong in number sense and math and also calculator, but number sense is his main one. But he'll also be a pretty big like roadblock to overcome to get to state. I've certainly heard that name many times. David. Well, I don't really know if there's anyone for district, but for regional, it's definitely some of the Sherland Pioneer people, uh, Daniel Ramirez and Derek Lee and a couple of the Flower Bluff people, they'll definitely be a challenge in the math events. Um, as, I haven't really looked as far as state, to be honest, but mostly, you know, Sherry Land, Flower Bluff, those are the two big schools that we've got to worry about. Hey, the road to state's never easy. You just have an off day and it's over. It's over. You've got to be on your game at all times, man. So uh, I understand. I appreciate the rivalries and all these rivalries. I'm going to pay attention to I really enjoy watching the battles. So, goals and predictions. What are your personal goals? What are the team goals? 
And what do you predict for the rest of the year? Edgar. Well, my my personal goal is trying to uh, become stage champion this year for number six. And our team goal right now is getting to stay the... Last year, we only got to regionals, and we didn't go past that. Bella was the one who got past regionals and went to state. But I want to, this, this year, I want to go to state with the team. And any predictions, um, hopefully, we'll be, we'll be able to make it to state. Now, what, I don't know what's going to happen at state, but uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Raj! So my goal this year is to definitely make regional is to at least make regionals for number sense because my district is really competitive for some reason and also I like it would be great if our team could make state for calculator. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Brennan. Um personally I want to make state in all three and that's going to be really hard in number sense because we have some really good kids from Frisco and also Mon. But for team goals, I think we could make a shot for state at calculator and also qualify in number sense in math, which it's definitely going to be hard in number sense because of Frisco again. But I think if we just practice a lot between now and regionals, we'll make it. Awesome. Hey, uh, Peter, who are the top guys in region uh, two? Uh, the top teams. The Frisco team. Uh, Longview lost some people last year. They, I mean, they still have Amon. They, but they're kind of young. I, I think those Frisco teams. I think one of them might have lost a senior. But for the most part, there's like two Frisco teams: Liberty and this other one. There was a freshman last year, Agnew. He he's from one of the Frisco schools. He went to state. So. You know what name we're not saying? We're not saying Klein. For years, Klein Oak had to struggle with Klein, but uh, Klein doesn't seem to be as strong as they used to be at one time. Well, they're in 6A. I, I think Klein Oak was 5A for a couple years, but they're all in 6A this year. So uh, Klein, I think they have Calvin still. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, Calvin Chu, and he's pretty hard to beat. He, he, he posts good scores. He doesn't go to as many meets during the year, but he'll be there at district and regional. David, right, goals and predictions. All right, so I hope to make it a state for uh, science and math. That It'd be really nice to make it for math. I, I really think me and my team, at least, one of my goals and somewhat predictions is for us to make it a state for science. I'd really like to, last year, I was really close to winning like, the top chemistry award in making state for science. I was off by a couple questions. It'd be nice if I could win that or top physics at regionals and even hopefully do well in science at state. And I also really like to do good at TMCA state, even though it's not like UIL. Maybe even go for the top gun award if I improve enough, but hopefully do well in some of those events. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gentlemen, you all have risen through the ranks. You all are the top scorers. Me and Peter scrutinize every week. So this is what I want. I want y'all to give some advice to maybe some younger students or some peers uh, what would you, what advice would you give any peers uh, that are traveling through the UIL journey themselves? Uh, Edgar. Well, um, the advice, and this is for any UIL person, is find what you like or what you're good at. Um, because I, I do numbers since I do math and stuff, but I know I have other, uh, other friends that do current events, that do computer science and but of course, that, that's what they like. So choose what you what you like, what you want to do. Because I, I'm good at numbers because I like it, because I want to do it. And and if if I didn't like it, because I wouldn't be doing it. So yeah, you gotta choose what you like. And also, if you want to get good at it, it's just just practice. Oh well, I like to say that for the mad ones, it's knowledge, and then practice. Knowledge, speed, knowledge, speed. That's that's pretty much it. All right, awesome, good advice, good advice, Raj. So I like my advice is to start as early as possible because it's important because uh, at my school in UIL academics, I believe I'm the only freshman. And I think starting earlier, I was offered an opportunity to compete last year 
and I didn't, and I deeply regret it because I would have been so much better. Now. All right, good. Start early. Start early. Brennan. Um, I would definitely say to have fun with it because it's like if you're not having fun, you're not really going to go anywhere. And that's the biggest advice I would give. But also just learn how to practice consistently. Even if you don't practice much every day, always try to like practice some. Awesome. Have fun and practice consistently. Absolutely. David. I mean, assuming you're already like – uh, dedicated to wanting to get better at UIL, I think the first thing you got to do is really learn your content. Like, although practice is really important, I would say that you got to learn your content first because otherwise you're just going to be, I mean, scoring terribly, not really learning. So for at least like the math and science event or math and science, you really got to know that content first and foremost. And then after that, it really just comes down to practice. You know, how many tests you do after you finish your test, make sure you go review every question, even especially the ones you don't like even though it may not be that fun, you know, if you don't like it or there's a reason you don't like it, it's because you probably aren't good at it and don't know how to do it or something like that. So really just make sure you know how to do everything. And then that's where you build up the circle and the speed and go as, you know, go as fast as you can, I guess. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. During competition. Absolutely. Know the content. Absolutely. So gentlemen, I really appreciate, you know, I'm so happy that you found my channel. I'm so happy that you're on the discord. Uh, you all are so awesome, and I'm so happy to have this uh, this networking uh, experience. I want to know, what are your final words or parting thoughts as we conclude this interview? Edgar. Well, sir, I just want to say um, thank you for giving me the chance uh, to be in this interview. And uh, one more thing that I want to say is that my ultimate goal after high school it's going to be to get to, to MIT. There you so, go. There you go. Hey, Peter's an MIT <laughs> grad, right? <laughs> yes, sir. So Peter's from MIT, man. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that? I didn't. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, sir. Peter's MIT. Yeah. Just so you know. Hey, you think you got hey, anybody they, on this interview? Come on. <laughs> they, David's going to MIT, too. You're going to see it. I hope so. I, I hope you're right, man. I hope you're right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good last words. Raj. I don't have any last words other than uh, thank you for interviewing me. Hey, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Brennan. Uh, well, I would just like to thank you for just letting us have this community of people with a common interest. And also thank you for letting us on an interview where we can express our thoughts and opinions on the scene this year. It's my pleasure, and I hope that one of y'all emerges, at least one of y'all, or maybe all of y'all, emerges state champions, and then we can do a more thorough interview. That's the hope. That's the hope. David. Um, I'd just like to thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to interview, and also everyone on the Discord. I'd like to thank them for being so uh, kind and welcoming. And also, I want to say good luck to everyone, not just people on the Zoom, but everyone in the Discord, everyone watching this at state or regionals or wherever they're competing, you know, good luck to them there. Um, I guess on what Peter said, I, I would like to go to MIT, hopefully. Uh, I don't know, I just thought I'd throw that out there, like uh, Edgar. So that, that's a, that's a long-term goal for me. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but yeah. Hey, that's a great just thank goal. you. That's a great goal. So Peter, what do you think? Man, these guys are good. I, I, I wish I had them all on my team. <laughs> they're great. You know, hey, Raj, you know, I'm disappointed. You know why? why? Have you seen me? At, did you see me at KD7 Lakes? Uh, I was, to be honest, I wasn't completely familiar with uh, your channel at that point. Okay. Yeah. Next time you see me, you tap me on the shoulder, you say hi, okay? All right. And that goes for everybody. I enjoy the networking. I enjoy you guys. And, if, you know, hopefully I'll be at Team SA State. That's the hope. And if y'all ever see me, come shake my hand. Let's have a few words. Let's talk some math. And, you know, we're connected now. We're connected. I think that goes for you, Peter, too, also. Don't you think? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I look forward to meeting these people. We got to get Raj to TMSA State. You need to call his principal and get him out there. Well, yeah, Brad Rice. I got to call him up and see what's up. You know what I'm saying? So we'll, we'll see, man. It, it won't be uh, complete without Raj there, man. It won't be complete. 
Hey, so guys, now we're networked. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of each one of you now. So, so I paid attention before, but now that I've met you all, now that we've had a discussion, I'm really paying attention because now there's a, there's a personality, there's a face, there's a person I know behind each of those scores I read. And we'll be scrutinizing UIO uh, B results. We'll be scrutinizing Tim State State results. And with district, region, state, we'll be following you guys. And I just want to wish you the very best of luck. All right, gentlemen? Definitely. Thank you very much. And farewell. Farewell, gentlemen. Farewell. Wow, what an incredible young gentleman. That was a true pleasure, and we're gonna, I'm going to keep my eyes out on these guys. I'm a fan now. It was my true pleasure to bring that interview to you. And Peter Fuentes, thank you to, to you also. All right, let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, that you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you leave a comment below, and that you smash that like button. Help me spread this joy, help me spread this beauty to as many people as possible. I have many wonderful things in store for this channel, and I truly appreciate your support. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Farewell.